So this is a very simple strategy, which is a reason I like to use it so much. And it has a very high win rate as long as all the confirmations are there. Okay, so the win rate is anywhere from 70 to 80%, just depending on the week, how choppy the market is. But the way I use these Heiken Ashi candles is I wanna see a key level reversal or a key level breakout or breakdown, right? So I wanna see us inside a key level and price to reverse off that key level or to break down or break out of that key level. So first thing I do is I look for a key level, okay? So this is a key support zone, demand zone, key resistance area, supply zone, whatever you wanna call it. So let's go over into my live trade. All right, as you can see, this is a few days ago, my PL was basically at break even, 294. Um, took a small little scalp before this trade. But anyways, if we actually start this video, as you can see, price was trading way up here, kinda towards our resistance. Um, up in this area. Now, on the left side, this is a five minute time frame. On the right side, this is a one minute time frame. Now, really, the only key level I have at the time of recording this was this support slash demand zone down here. This is acting as support all day and the day before that. So, this is a clear demand zone I had uh, marked before the market even opened. So, as we can see, what I was waiting for was for us to get into the key level because going back to our thing, right? That's the first thing I need to see is for us to be in a key level, okay? So let's go back to the video. This is just a recording of my trade, all right? So as you can see, let me just fast forward here. Um, we're coming down into our key level. Now, what I'm doing now is I switch to regular candlesticks, okay? So this is the regular candlesticks most of you guys already know. Now, what a lot of times I'll do is I'll first look for reversal candles in our key level, and sometimes I can enter on the reversal candle, but a lot of times, especially the past few weeks, past few months, we haven't really been getting many reversal candles inside of our levels. And before, if I didn't get a reversal candle in my level, I couldn't take the trade. But now with Heiken Nashi, right, I can switch over, I can look for another place to enter once I get a nice looking five minute Heiken Nashi candle, okay? So here's what I mean that by that, all right? And I'll show you exactly what to look for. So again, we're on the regular candlesticks. I'm currently looking for a reversal candle, which is why I'm on the normal candlesticks. We're in the key level, so we're looking to see if it breaks or reverses, okay? I don't care what it does. I can make money going short or long, right? But again, the setup is reversal or break, so I'm trying to see what it does first, right? So let's go ahead and zoom forward a little bit. Um, as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of reversal candle. We, we just wanna see how this candle closes, right? Um, all right, so the five minute candle just closed on the left here. Not really a reversal candle, we closed towards the bottom, so I don't really like to see that. So now I'm assuming I switched back to Heiken Ashi candle. So let's see, we can come back. Okay, we came back down to the zone again. Again, no confirmation to enter the trade. And here's where I started switching back since we got some aggressive buying. I switched back to the five minute Heiken Ashi candle, as you can see. Um, now what I'm doing is I'm looking for, all right, so we're gonna pause this. Okay, I'm going back to my sheet now. Now, once we're in the key level, I'm looking for a big five minute Heiken Ashi candle. So there's a couple of confirmations you need, I need to have at least for this to work very well. And trust me, when I first started using Heiken Ashi, I made these mistakes by taking losses by not having these three things, okay? So I need to see some kind of room to run. So after this candle closes, how far away are we from our resistance, right? Do we still have room to run to where I have a good risk reward? That's the first thing. Second thing, I would prefer to see higher volume on this five minute Heiken Ashi candle. And I wanna see a good looking normal candle, meaning if we get a big five minute Heiken Ashi candle, I wanna see the normal candlestick close towards the top. I don't wanna see a reversal candle on the normal candle, right? Cause that's gonna show selling. I wanna see buying, right? I wanna see this normal candle close green and towards the top. I don't wanna see many wicks, right? So let's go ahead and see if this comes into place, right? So going back to this trade, I'll just press play. As you can see, I'm still not any, in, in any trade. My open PNL is at zero still. So essentially I'm just waiting. This five minute candle just open. So let's skip forward over the next few minutes and let's go ahead and see. Okay, look what happens here, right? The candle's about to close. So a few more seconds before it closes. All right, so what do we see here? We got a big five minute Heiken Ashi candle. Okay, so this is technically a green candle, even though it's yellow, I just changed the colors. And we also see that the normal candle, 
looks good, right? We closed towards the top, okay? Sellers did not dominate this candle. We tried to go down, then buyers bought it back up, right? So this is a good looking normal candle. Now, the only bad thing about this was we did have decreasing volume. Again, this is something I prefer to see all three of these things, but typically if I see two, I still sometimes take the trade, but for the highest win rate possible, it's better to see all three of these things, but you will miss out on more of the trades, right? So you wanna see room to run, which we clearly had room to run, volume decrease, which is a little bit of red flag, but the normal candle is good. So again, I decided to take it, okay? So now this is where I'm assuming I enter the trade. Okay, as you can see, I'm actually already in the trade. So let me zoom back to right where I entered. Okay, basically right when the candle closed, you can see my p &L. It starts changing. Okay, I enter the position and now we're officially long on the trade. All right, now you might be wondering, Chad, where did you put your stop loss? Um, so I essentially had it right below this candle. Okay, you can see I'm showing it on the screen. I had it right at 50.93. So basically just right below the candle that I actually entered on, right? And again, we wanna see a big five minute Heikinoshi candle with no wick at the bottom, which we didn't have, and a big body plus the normal candle looking good, right? So that's where my stop loss was. And going back to our sheet, if you're wondering where my target was, right? Basically, I was just targeting um, our resistance area where we sold off previously. So going back here, um, it was somewhere at 51.10, 51.15 or so. That would give me around 10 to 15 points on ES, which is a pretty good trade, right? It's a pretty decent day trade. So let's go ahead and watch this play out. As you can see, I just switched over to the one minute Heikinoshi candle. I don't really need to look at the normal candles as much anymore. Well, let's go and watch this play out. We are on a five minute and a one minute time frame. So currently down around 400 right now. Um, again, we're basically at break even. We're kind of just chopping around. Uh, we are at VWAP, so that's probably what's acting as resistance here. But again, my whole thesis of this trade is we're gonna get a key level reversal. So we're gonna reverse the trend, which means Theoretically, we should get above VWAP, right? That's my thesis for this trade, um, is we're reversing the trend, okay? And the five minute Heikinoshi is a great way to see if the trend is gonna reverse during the intraday, right? If you're day trading, that's what I do. So anyways, let's keep going here. As you can see, we're starting to get a little buying. Again, it really doesn't mean anything until we pass these wicks right here above 102. That's where we'll probably start seeing more momentum. So let me skip forward a little bit just so I don't bore you guys, but you can see the P&L um, kind of just chop it around. And okay, it looks like we tried to break it. We came back down. Again, I'm just sitting on my hands, either my stop loss or my target hits. I'm not gonna mess with the trade. I'm gonna let my plan play out. So we're gonna keep skipping forward here. And let's see what happens. Okay, we're starting to break out of it. We broke out a little bit and we came back down once again. But the good news is we're starting to make, you know, some higher highs, some higher lows on the one minute time frame. We're consolidating above the VWAP, but keep in mind the volume is pretty low on this one minute chart. So we're just waiting for some volume to kick in here. Again, we're pretty much back to break even, back at 5,100. So again, let's just skip forward a little bit. And eventually what happens is we start breaking out with heavy volume. Um, we got a nice one minute candle. And at this point, what you can do is once we get a big, you know, volume candle in the one minute, I can essentially move my stop right below this candle, right? Um, because this should be protected, okay? This should be protected. Any dips should get bought above here. If it does go below this, we're probably gonna sell back off. So. I moved my stop back into 5,100, basically break even. I think it was like a point in profit at this point. So just to protect, right? Just in case we start to reverse or a big sellers come in. As you can see, we ended up keep on going up. Momentum was strong and we eventually hit my target at like 5,111. Played it a little conservative with this resistance, but the trade worked out very nice. As you can see, made around 6,400 bucks on this very simple trade. So that's essentially that entire setup. Look for a key level and then look for a big five minute Heikinoshi candle. Make sure we have at least two or three of these things on here. Then set a stop loss based on the candle you entered on and then have some kind of conservative target that gives you a two to one risk reward ratio, right? 
So that was an example of a key level reversal. The thesis is the trend is gonna start reversing. We're gonna bounce off that level. Now, another way I like to play this is if the key level breaks. So I'm gonna go into my Discord group. This is a trade I took on Monday, right? So if we go up to Monday, by the way, guys, if you guys wanna join our Discord community, it's completely free and open to the public. I post my trade recaps in here every single day, along with my trading plan, my key levels, on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ market. Like I said, guys, if you do wanna join this community and see those things every single day, we'd love to have you inside. If you guys do wanna join the Discord, again, that'll be the first link in the description below this video. All right, so going to my trade recap on April 15th, this is on Monday, okay, so a few days ago. As you can see, this was an example of a key level break, right? I wrote it on my trade recap, okay? Basically what happened here is we pulled back to this key level area and we got a big five minute high Kanashi candle showing we broke the level. Okay, so let me actually go to the chart so you guys can see it better. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Monday over here. It should be um, this day right here. Then I'm also gonna go to the five minute chart on this time frame, but I'm gonna switch to normal candles. Okay, so we're just gonna go to normal candles here. We're gonna go to Monday where I took this trade, which was this sell off right here. As you can see, the red and green was my risk to reward. So basically what happened here again, we're at this key level. I believe this is the uh, demand zone from last Friday. As you can see, we had aggressive buying off this level. So this is our key level demand zone that we could either reverse at this level or we broke it. In this scenario, we broke it instead of reversing, right? We kind of acted like we're reversing, but there was no clear confirmation to actually get in. Since this candle was very small, again, the bigger the candle, the better. This is why I put on here, you wanna see a big five minute high Kanashi candle, okay? And this is exactly what we saw. Once we saw this big five minute high Kanashi candle, as you can see, not only did we have a big five minute candle, but we also had elevated volume. And if we go to the normal candle, right? The normal candle looked good. Okay, it closed at the very bottom, telling me sellers dominate this candle. There's no buyers. There's essentially no buyers in this candle. So essentially right after this candle closed, um, so we can see the true price is right here. It closed at 51.45. This is where I entered my position short. So now my thesis is that we're gonna we're breaking this key level and we're gonna continue the trend down for the next, you know, however long, right? To the next support area. So that's essentially what we did, right? If we go back to all my confirmations, they're all there. I put a stop loss right above that candle. So if we go back here, the candle I entered on, this is where my stop was at 5160. And as you can see, we end up writing this thing all the way down to my next support which was 51.25. This is where I took the whole entire position off. So I was able to get a nice 20 points on ES on this trade. As you can see, this is what the normal candles look like. We basically had pretty much all selling until we got to my target. So that was essentially the trade. Again, this is why I like these high Kanashi candles or this high Kanashi trading strategy because it's so simple, right? Um, as long as these three things are here, we have a big five minute high Kanashi candle and we're in that key level, whether we reverse off it or we break off it, right? This is what you wanna look for, okay? Don't just look for one of these things. You wanna have all of these things lined up at once. That's what's gonna make this have that 70 to 80% win rate. So anyways, guys, this is the Heikinashi trading strategy. Let me know if you want more videos on this. Hope you guys got some value out of this video. Real quick before you go, like I said, if you wanna join our free Discord community, I post my trading levels, my key levels on NASDAQ and ES every single day, along with my trade recaps. We also have a community of over 7,000 traders that you can ask questions and network with inside of here as well. If you wanna join, we'd love to have you inside. All you have to do is go to the first link in the description below or just head over to this link right here. With that being said, guys, as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video with another day trading lesson.